Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time for another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you're starting from scratch, you'll notice there are pieces here that are not available on your project. Let me show you quickly how to get those. I just drug one of each out here, and then when I returned, they were available for us to play with. I'm going to leave this copy because we're going to actually use it in a moment. Of course, if you open the template that I shared, they are already there. We're going to quickly name this, and it's going to be called Sim Lab Gears. If this is your first time seeing these, we have got an axle. We have also got a pivot, and then this little fella is called the slider. I've got a full tutorial that shows all those three. You can check it up here. Today, we're going to just play with the axle, and we're going to play with gears. Click search, type gear. You will see several gears appear. I'm going to tell you we're going to play with this one right here. Simply bring it out. Raise it up in the air. Click on your axle connector and do control D. We always save the originals for if we want to use another one. Now click on that shape and do C for cruising, and we can grab the dot and set it right on top. While the living work plane is there, I'm going to grab the two of them, choose L for a line, and we'll align them center and center. Don't forget this one's easier to see from a corner. When you click away, we now need to make the spin. The blue one is the axis, and we do want it to spin that way. The second one is what it connects to. Notice that blue outline. When we let go, that means they are connected. If we go right now to SimLab, because it's got that connector, are you ready for this? It floats in the air, and if you shoot and hit it, it spins. If you hit it right, it spins forever. Now we're gonna change that spin by 90 degrees. Super simple, back up. Grab the entire pair. Now it's important that you have both, or you lose your connector. Do control D and shift nudge to move them both away. Remember, if you only have this one to do control D, you'll have to restart with your connector. So I'm going to delete that. And now we want to change this by 90 degrees. I want to stand it up. So I'm going to look at it from a corner. That gives me a good look at this one. Once again, inside ring is 22 and a half degrees. So four clicks. Outside is one degree. But if you hold shift, it snaps 45 degrees at a time. That is how we want it. Now, we don't want these connected yet. We're going to do that in the sim lab, which I want. All you need to do right now, all we need to do right now is move back to the sim lab. And let me show you how we make this work. So, of course, it may take a moment for it to snap into place. But now if you hit play, that one spins that way. And this one spins this way. Now the trick is to get both of them to work together. We are going to pause, reset, grab the pair, and start to bring them where they need to be. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it over. I'm going to use the little handle to lift it up. Or you could also do control up to raise it up. And then we need to find the spot where it needs to go. The chance of you getting this right on the first try is pretty slim. You can see there I have them just touching with them now lined up. Let's test it in the sim lab. Once again, when you hit play, whoa, that is naturally spinning. Let's see if I actually got it right on the first try. It's a little bit tight. It's not quite the way I want, although that one worked really well. So it's a little bit also learning where to shoot. Let's reset it. And let's try and nudge it just a tiny bit. I'm going to raise this up just the littlest. Let's see if that's still enough to connect or not. Maybe I'm going to move it out one click as well. These are the kind of things you can play with as you try to make this turn out perfect. Once again, hit play. And let's see if I can get it really, really spinning. Of course, friends, I want you to play with this and see just how awesome you can get it. Quick reminder, as you're trying to get this absolutely perfect, you can also back out and switch your nudge from one millimeter to 0.1 millimeters. That allows you to be much more precise as you nudge them. Friends, as you're playing with this, you can try shooting at the other one to see which one works best. I do want you to remember that if you ever get something awesome that you want to show people, 
you can always rewind, you can double check, you can also go over here and hit share. You can make videos in any of these formats. You can do low quality or high quality. You can change the angle so it shows exactly what you want. Right now I'm pushing in the mouse button to pan, but you can create really cool videos showing what you created. When it creates the short video, if it is not long enough for what you were sharing, I do have tutorials for how to use ClipChamp to record the already recorded ones and actually add some special effects. At this moment though, I'm going to back out of here and let's return to the main screen. I'm showing you these gears as well. There's a metric gear and a useful gear. Of course, they have all of the options that you can play with. I recommend using these instead of the handles. My challenge to you is to use both, try and make the same system, see which one you can get to run longer. Also, see which number of teeth is the smartest for this type of project. Of course, friends, if you make something awesome, it is extra cool if you share it with me or the world. The first step I always do before sharing is I change that background. I like to pick a color that's more cool. I often go out here in the blues and pick one I like. I also prefer it when the grid is off. I think that makes a better image of the project. Of course, at this point, we can return to the Tinkercad dashboard. Click on our properties. I, of course, update the name. Note this one has a tutorial that will be added soon. Of course, below this, you'll find the HLMT search and different ways you can reach me. Finally, add some tags. And keep in mind that if you ever add the tag HLMT23 to any of your projects, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, when I see your cool projects, I will give you a reaction. The last thing is to make it public. Tell them you're not a robot. And then I often click attribution, no derivatives, because I don't want people to copy my work. Instead, I want them to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. And of course, when you're done, make sure you hit save changes. Friends, as soon as it's published, don't forget you can go to the gallery. Of course, the first thing you'll see are the awesome staff picks. Friends, when you click on these, make sure you check out all of the details. This is the legendary Pinewood Derby Simulator by Speedy71. It has got a huge upgrade with the awesome wheels. Of course, it's set to copy and tinker, but friends, don't forget the golden rule. Before you copy and tinker, give it a reaction. Of course, if you also spot any HL Mod Tech projects, most times, friends, there will be a tutorial in the description. If not, look for the bit.ly that'll get you to the tutorial. You can also check below for other awesome projects that I'm promoting. The last step I do is to shut off staff picks, switch to the larger grid, and of course, check out amazing creations that have been made. That is absolutely awesome. I'm going to give it an awesome. There are always so many cool creations to check out. Love that landmark, giving it an awesome as well. And of course, friends, right here is my SimLab Gears tutorial. Of course, I will add that tutorial in a moment, and the reactions are always appreciated. Let's quickly check the HLMT search. When you click that button, check it out. You can see all the latest designs. Of course, there is the gear tutorial, a new project I made. Check this one out. Tart Glue turns 17. That is absolutely awesome. Of course, you can check out all the other shares. I noticed this is a brand new one. Here is a brand new one that was shared. Check it out. This is the blank template for the Pinewood Derby car by Speedy71. Of course, it's here for all of us to use, but please follow that golden rule of Tinkercad. Give it a reaction before you copy and tinker. Friends, as I close out this video, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories up above, and then down below you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and finally the Tinkercad essentials. Also in the corner, friends, you can find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.